what is going on everybody all right so i did take the the clamps all of these clamps right here off i was holding this metal brace on um, so it is completely glued um, these wings right here were glued i put the little uh wing studs back in um, on both sides so now this is being held in by the glue this little white glue right here which the top piece so this top section right here was broke off right here so i re-glued that on and then uh this bracket right here underneath it can't really see it but there's a plastic bracket that's under here that side's glued on as well as this side both of them are glued on as well as the uh one two three four five these screws are there was metal brackets here that i re-glued to the plastic on the grill so now this is actually holding it's held in with the glue so that's done um, i can actually flip this over and lay it down and it won't fall out or anything so that's repaired um i worked started working on scuffing you can see all these scuff lines right here scuffing this chrome plating um, and then I'm prepping this I gotta get a, all this mud and stuff out you know this dry dirt um, out of the grill so I can prime this whole thing um, and then once the primer dries I'm gonna tape off the chrome section paint this intersection um, which this is called rose gold uh, I keep calling it brass, and I think it's just because it's a lot darker than the copper color that I have. Um, I did copper on my uh, um, I custom painted this uh, 50 ton shop press, and that's what the copper looks like. I painted the, the springs copper color. Um, this is green and blue what I painted it but so that copper I knew was going to be way too bright as the insert color so I'm going to paint it this rose gold um, which looks more like when I sprayed it it looked more like, uh, like a bronze because um, I'm going to do probably two or three coats um, and I already have the emblems and the center section of that grill painted so there's three coats of this claret wine, satin claret wine. And there's a, a couple little bubbles showing up, but it's not a big deal. It's just a grill. Um, and then here's the green. We got some spidering cracking showing up there um, as well as here. But it's also really hot out here. And these pieces are just plastic. So... Um, and you can see that it's got fish eyes showing up. But I'm not concerned about it. It's, it doesn't have to be perfect um, at all. Just, just got to be uh, different than <clears throat> what it was. And uh, this is that Club Hunt Green. Uh, or Hunt Club Green. Um, and this color is also a satin color. So it looks pretty good. Um... You know, I might scuff it up a little bit, try to get rid of these fish eyes, um, and then, you know, recoat it with one more coat, so it'd be, end up being four coats. Um, the Claret wine is actually not bad. It does seem a lot brighter um, than I was expecting it to be. I was expecting the Claret wine to be darker than the, than the uh, um, cranberry over here. So that's the cranberry. I was expecting the cranberry to actually be brighter than this guy. But you can see this, the claret wine is a lot brighter. And it's a satin finish, so it's going to be kind of a matte look. Um, so I got a little bit more prep on those two to do. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, 
this emblem doesn't come off so it'd be kind of hard to leave the bat the the rest of it black like it was and then paint the v8 emblem like i did so i just painted the whole thing um looks pretty cool the way it is but they look pretty good so just got to do some more prepping on the grill since I got the the mount bracket completely glued back up um, and uh, that's all done I you know showed at the beginning I did scuff most of this you can see the swirl marks same over here just scuffing everything up need to get this center black section clean the best I can with all the dirt see where I was cleaning need to get all this dirt out so that way I could prep it for paint but it's going pretty well uh, just a quick update guys and then once the whole thing is done and all the paint is dry on this as well as those pieces what I'm gonna do is I'm going to splatter a bright red like blood splatter across it um, and that's gonna land those dots are gonna land on every different paint so it's gonna land on the black uh, which the chrome pieces are going to be black. Um, it's going to land on the rose gold section in the center, and it's going to land on the green that's going to be right here. The green actually goes right here. That piece outside goes right here. And then the emblem sits on top of that piece. So um, it's going to look pretty good when I'm done. So I'll give you guys some more updates in a little while.